I'm cute. She wanna have sex. Hey, tune in to Live TV. We live off the real. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go to the Supreme KD2. We knocking out live videos. Go to KD2 Live. It's a live channel. We going crazy over there. Both channels gonna be in the pin comment. Go tap in. Anyway, comment what you wanna see next too. We got rappers that are killers versus rappers that were killed. That's a crazy title, my nigga. What the? F That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we finna jump into the video, bro. I ain't even finna do too much talking. I already told y'all, go to all the channels. It's gonna be in the description down below and in the pinned comment. We turn up. I'm on Twitch and I'm on Kick. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all go to both of them. I see y'all been going to Twitch. I might do my first live stream. Probably in about five days. Five to 10 days, I'm gonna do my first live stream. We gonna pop out with a giveaway. I may do like $500 giveaway on stream. We gonna go crazy. But anyway, let's get into the video, man. Boys on the mental, let's get it, man. Dang. The rap industry today has seen rappers from the rolling 60s Crips to Gangster Disciples, the Black Disciples, and even the Nine Tray Gangsters. Unfortunately, while these rappers may be talented at what they do, they've brought the gang culture of killing and getting killed into the industry. And so far, we've seen many- Nigga, did you just show money, man, nigga? Money, man, nigga, is that? Killing and getting killed. I didn't That nigga looked like money man. Industry. And so far, we've seen many rappers get killed. We've even watched rappers kill other people. Keep watching till the end of this video to see rappers that are killers versus rappers that were killed. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. That's a crazy video. I want to see how, how this is going to play out, bro. King Von the Killer. It would only be right to start. I knew he finna start rap. out with Vaughn. I knew Vaughn. That's crazy. Long live Vaughn. For King Vaughn. You see, not only did King Vaughn get shot and killed, but he also faced jail time for murder and was named as the murderer of three people after his death. Before King Vaughn was shot and killed in 2020, he rapped about the gang life that he was brought up in. He was one of the rappers who put the spotlight on Chicago gang activities. Not to glorify this, because we ain't glorifying it, bro. Like I told y'all, niggas stay in school. This shit ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, Vaughn was one of them niggas who actually lived with he rap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's crazy because the fans, they don't know what they want. They'll say, oh, he ain't really like that. He just be rapping. Bro, that nigga just a rap. He ain't no, he ain't no real nigga. You know what I'm saying? They, they tell you to be smart and just make music. But then when you do that, you ain't a real nigga. And, then, and sometimes them niggas don't need to be rapping by killing and spinning blocks. They just may say they ain't going for shit and I may have to step on a nigga if I have to. Oh, you ain't like that. You, you, you just supposed to be a straight bitch. Let them tell it. You know what I'm saying? But then when you do go do some, and start slaying, sh you know what I'm saying? And doing this and this and that, they still don't, them niggas still get to talking about, oh, he ain't deserved it. Y'all say he ain't deserved it. He was a killer. He deserved it. It crazy because they don't know what they want. You know what I'm saying? That's why you just got to do you. But Vaughn was one of them niggas that actually lives what he rap about. And some of the fans want you to just go throw your, throw your life away. Make your money, bro. I ain't saying rap about shit you ain't on. Be you, bro. Be you. Just do you. You know what I'm saying? Just be you, my nigga. What's wrong with being you? You like? Well, then you go find another career. <laughs> telling stories about himself, Sim. his gang members, and their ops in his music. But he did more than telling a story. He also told on himself as he revealed on one of his tracks that he had seven bodies to his name. In the track, Demon, King Von rapped, talking about bodies, I got a few. Four plus three, three plus two. He revealed the number of people he had killed, but he never spoke about them, even when it was playfully asked in a Q&A session online. However, one person King Von always spoke about was Gakira Barnes, aka KI. I say in that shooter on the ball, back and forth. King Von talked about KI when she was alive and even years after she had passed away and he had become a rapper. He was granted an interview where he spoke about her. According to King Von, he had a crush on KI back when they were teenagers. This nigga was a real serial killer, bro. You got a crush on, on a female that is out here dropping bodies too, bro. What y'all nigga think y'all Joe and Beck? That crazy, bro. What the fuck these nigga out here on some other shit? And he wanted her to be his girlfriend. K.I. was just as much of a deadly gangster as he was, and they were both on the rival block. Hey, Vaughn, what you got going? You wanted this to be your girlfriend, bro? Man, if you don't get your ass up, boy, this a nigga right here, bro. Fuck you mean you want this to be your girlfriend, man? Nah, that nigga Vaughn was tripping. 
She better have looked different back then, the my nigga. The gangster as he was, and Boy, they were both on the rival block. Sadly, after King Von passed, the authorities named him the shooter in K.I.'s murder. Gakira was known majorly for taking out O.D. Perry, the young man who the infamous O Block was named after. O.D. Perry had taken a hit on Tuka, who was from 63rd and was good friends with K.I. On Tuka's birthday, a year after his death, K.I. killed O.D. Perry, and members of O Block sought retaliation especially against her. Sadly, King Von was the one to redeem Oblock's revenge when he allegedly shot Kakira on her way to a party just a day after they exchanged words via Twitter. While the huh. authorities in the streets believe that Oblock's deadliest shooter, King Von, took out the 63rd's most lethal shooter, K.I., one rapper, King Lil J. Ain't that crazy how they say Von was doing this and this and that? But when you all watch the death video, we seen Muop out there standing beside, bro. But the rest of everybody scattered from bullets. You seen how they was just Vaughn laying in the middle of the street? At one point, it was just Vaughn by itself. Just, bro, by itself. <laughs> that don't tell y'all niggas name then. Jay, who was close friends with her, claims that King Von would have been gonna die for you as though, fast huh? as K.I. and she would have taken him out first. King Lil J said in an interview, that bit is false, man. K.I. would have killed him, man. She trying to f but she trying to some, man. Despite being told that there was actual police evidence that King Von had ended K.I., King Lil J maintained his grounds that he'd grown up with them both and he knew for sure that K.I. would have killed King Von before she let him kill her. Other names have been attached to King Von's hit list, including Richard Modell, Derek Johnson, a.k.a. P5, Rodney Stewart, a.k.a. Boss Trell, and Malcolm Stuckey. Unfortunately, there may be others that didn't make it to the internet. DeBaby DeBaby is known as one of the most controversial rappers out there, and there are several reasons why this is so. One of them being that DeBaby actually pulled the trigger that took a man's life, but walked away scot-free. Back in 2018, Scott, what rapper DeBaby had imagined being a great day for Christmas shopping with his family turned into a messy day for him. The rapper went shopping for winter clothes when two men jumped at them and flashed a gun. They got into a confrontation, ending with DeBaby putting a bullet in 19-year-old Jalen Dominique Craig. After that incident... Oh, I Brother, like he out of Florida. Ending with the baby putting a bullet in 19 year old Jalen. Okay. Dominique Craig. After that incident, DeBaby's lawyers advised him not to speak on the issue, but he didn't listen to them. Instead, he made an Instagram video saying, Lawyers telling me not to say something and all that. To walk down on you and your whole family, threaten y'all, whip out on y'all. Let me see what y'all going to. You feel me? Shortly after DeBaby was arrested, but the prosecution couldn't build a strong case to put him behind bars. He wasn't charged with murder. Instead, he was only charged with carrying a concealed firearm. After a suspended 30-day jail sentence, oh, the baby received sure. one year of unsupervised probation. The baby has talked about because in Texas, boy, we ride with them bitches like you might have your ID, you might get pulled up, got your Glock, not your ID. You got your ID on? No, sir, I do not. You have a firearm? Yes, sir, I got my. Oh, bro. Doing at Walmart several times. Not even on no cool music, shit. That just how it is. He always claims he acted in self-defense. In 2019, in an interview with Billboard, he said he didn't feel bad for shooting Jalen. In DeBaby's words, from my end, it was unavoidable. It wasn't my action. It was my reaction. At the end of the day, my family was right there. My daughter. So hell no, I don't lose no sleep. The details of what really went down at the mall that day have been sketchy, but. DeBaby stands by his word. He didn't know how it happened. He just knows it did. He also rapped on one of his tracks, Masterpiece, where he said, I don't know what went down at that Walmart. I don't know what happened on that freeway. Okay, there go DeBaby. He back now. Run it back. Hey, turn on that replay. FBG Duck. Chicago rapper FBG Duck, who was from 63rd. Hey, I used to be on that duck. That nigga had a song. You don't got on me. I ain't trying to box right now, but I was a little nigga. And if a nigga act up, he can get shot right now. I'm, I'm probably 14 right around. You know what I'm saying? Finna go hoop playing that shit. No care. The first popular rappers from the Chicago gang scene to get killed. 
FBG Duck's death rocked the beef between 63rd and Oblock, and like most rappers who have lost their lives from gun and gang violence, FBG Let me see how Duck shared his location on social media. After he shared his location on social media, members of his rival gang at Oblock had four men pull up on him in the high-end Gold Coast section of Chicago while shopping in boutiques with his girlfriend and two of his friends. It was about 10 years ago, it's crazy. Evening, when the four men opened fire on FBG Duck and shot him in the chest, groin, and leg. Three weeks before his death, FBG Duck released now, a music 14. video where he dissed the fallen disciples of the Black Disciples gang who were also O-Block members. In the song titled, Dead Bitches, he said, said I wasn't going to diss the dead and okay, I did it, but T-Roy and OD, them dead. According to the police, they believe that FBG Duck's derogatory statements were what caused the rival block to attack the rapper. It wasn't hard for them to conclude, especially since people on social media had often referred to FBG Duck as King Von's favorite op. King Von gets killed. A popular adage goes, live by the sword, die by the sword. Hmm. Only this time, King Von died after three bullets were shot at him. On November- Bro, this nigga said Von died after being shot three times. Bro, watch my last reaction video. I think this one of Ace, Young and Ace homies. The man got shot 35 times, bro. 35 fucking times. 35 times, and not even did he just get hit 35 times. Nigga stood over him and put seven more on top of you, point blank range. Man, that's how you know when it's your calling, bro. When God ready, when 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 God call you, when, when God say it's done, your your book being closed, it ain't nothing you could do with it. Nothing you could do. You can have five bulletproof vests on, boy. Yo, it's your day. You can't run from it. It's shit. For sixth, twenty twenty, O Block gangster King Von met his end at the hands of Timothy Leaks, aka Lol Tim, a friend to rapper Quando Rondo and a member of NBA Youngboy's 4K Trey crew. Quando Rondo and his friends had gone to the Hookah Lounge, a nightclub in Atlanta, where they got into a scuffle with King Von and his crew. According to Quando's details of the fateful night, he had gone to the club with his guys, but he was too tired to go in. So, Quando decided to stay back in the car to get some sleep, mm. and his friend turned brother, Lol Tim, decided to stay back with him. Please say he friend slept. turned brother. Quando claimed that he shortly tripped. after falling asleep, an individual came out of nowhere and began attacking himself and Lol Tim. A fight had broken off inside the club with King Von's crew. Unfortunately for King Von, he caught some bullets, and so came about the end of Oblock's most feared gangster. That's the end. Come on, guys. So why you put that shit on the screen, bro? In today's video, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks. Weird. Dang, you weird, bro. Blurred out of night, bro. You could just lift it out the camera. What the fuck? Nigga, weird. Yeah, anyway, man. Nah, that's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. That's crazy. <sighs> that's crazy, bro. I like to say this to my young niggas. I don't know where you from, I don't know your gun laws, but make sure you keep you some protection on you. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all young niggas out here riding around with, with throwaways and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta understand, bro. It's supposed to be a life after this life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I nigga wanna make it see that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta clean it up, bro. You could do this the right way. You know what I'm saying? Cause nigga run up on, on, on me in the game, cause yo, yo, yo. You, you speak life and death, bro. You know what I'm saying? Life and death is on the power of your tongue. So what you speak on, you gonna manifest. You know what I'm saying? Look at this nigga wanna cut when I'm talking real shit. Look at the devil. Whole video been by bullshit. It ain't been quiet. Crazy. But anyway, life and death is on the power of your tongue, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always say in the game on Grand Theft Auto. But on Grand Theft Auto, if a nigga was to try anything with my, my character, AKA moi, I'm gonna blow your ass down with the right to. No cap. And I ran away for Twitter to pull up. I'm to my fire your ass down so bad, boy, and then wait for Twitter to pull up. And 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 and, and tell them in descriptive, in, in very dis detailed words what happened. Little man pulled up on me. You know, I was just sitting here with my family. Little bro pulled up on me. He reached for my neck. He, he said something about say that shit I be saying in my songs. And then after that, we just heard ringing and bullets. And yeah, that was it.
Yeah, nah, that's it. I, I mean, I don't need to press charge and shit. He, he pressed it right there. You know what I'm saying? That, that would, that would. Simple. Simple, nigga. The right way, too. I ain't got to run after that. None of that shit. Just, just go get you. The right way. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, but by God's grace, that won't be nobody's portion. But I'm just trying to let y'all know you can live like the right way. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be wolves out here regardless, bro. You can be the most righteous guy in the world. It's going to be wolves that try to come. It's in your Bible. You catch a thief by night, you got the right to slay his ass. Simple. Anyway, drop a like on the video, man. Y'all go to my second channel, The Supreme KD, and then go to KD2 Live. They both going to be in the pink comment. We turning up. I had to switch them around a little bit because I'm, I'm bringing two different vibes to each channel. But anyway, man, got to bring up with some other videos. So then they got to stop the video. Let's get it, man.